All right. All right. So I made uh, I made a video last time when I talked about uh, my bike uh, having the uh, the check light engine uh, lighting up uh, when I was riding. So I did uh, a diagnosis on this bike, and I know what's wrong with it. Um, uh, it's a O2 sensor which I need to repress. So the video I did will be up here, okay, on how you can um, you can do a diagnosis and also find out what uh, what code is it and what it means. So the video will be up here. All right. So without further ado, I got my stuff. I got my O2 sensor. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to install that bad girl on here so that i can ride my bike again all right uh let's do that all right so yeah it's time to get that bad girl on here uh, the auto sensor as you can see this bike has been seated for like uh um three three weeks as i was waiting for this to show up in the mail this is my auto sensor in here so right now I hooked up to um, I hooked up the battery to power so that I can charge it. It's a slow charge, so I don't need to worry about anything. This is uh, this is what I use. I use uh, I use this battery tender right here. So it's connected to that uh, from the main power right here. And this is good because I can also uh, charge it overnight. I don't need to disconnect the battery. Uh, from the bike I just charge it uh, the way it is so this is not uh, harmful to the bike so you don't need to worry about it as long as you're using um, uh, battery battery tender all right so all right let's get this bad girl open let's see what's inside here so we can get our shit out and uh, Install it on the bike. All right. That's it. Simple. Right there. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. <laughs> Oh man, Kawasaki. Original. No aftermarket here. Always go original. Okay. Alright, so this is it. Oh, this is it. With the plug, so... Now, let us get that bad girl out. I don't know if you can see this here, right here, that's my auto sensor. So what I'm going to do is, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take off these, uh, these plastic things here. One, two, three. All right. So, and uh, you have a total of uh, six bolts to get off. One, two, three, four, five, six. In order to take all this off. We're gonna need um, an eight mil, eight mil, and uh, Allen key. That's it. All right, let's get to it. Oh, also, you're gonna need a flat screwdriver, and I'll show you why you need it later on. Now, what we have to do is to follow um, the cable 
for the uh, for the O2 sensor. So this is it right here. Right here comes from here. Right here. This is it. Here. This is it right here. So what we are going to do is we are just going to disconnect this. So this is where the flat screw, the flat screw comes in. Right there. Alright, so you follow the cable. goes here <sighs> <sighs> go All right, just for comparison, uh, this is the old one, go to sensor. Uh, this is the new one So you can see I don't know. I don't know what's up with the, all this uh, black stuff here But uh, yeah, it is what it is And now it's time to wire it up. Right. Uh, that's it. We are done here. Until then, RB on two RB on two wheels is out.
Peace.